Women of this man. <laughs> one month? Did you say fun? Are you from India? Yeah. How do you guys know each other? <laughs> okay, so uh, <clears throat> he says flavor of the month. Okay, I'm sorry for the sound being so low, but I'll fix that or y'all won't notice it. Uh, nonetheless, this man talks about why did you bring this lady here? And the man says flavor of the month. Okay. So what he takes is as see her saying like, oh, because she's not a European woman, for lack of better words, okay? Which is all fine and dandy. We're all having a good time. <laughs> but I want y'all to see his reaction. Now, see, I understand comedians can say some crazy things, but there is a little part of me that believes that he got a little white nighty, okay? So let's go ahead and check it out. So first of all, candle of the... I'm just kidding. So, uh, let's take a step back. You can see he kind of snapped. I'll slap this motherfucker in his face right now. Crazy? What the fuck are you talking to, Huck? I'll slap you in your fucking mouth, bro. So he went into full white knight mode. The man is still laughing. And that's honestly where I believe that this could have stopped. Joke would have been funny. <laughs> we all could have moved on with our lives. Uh, however, he decides to keep it moving forward. And man, this is what we like to do. See, when we see maybe a cute girl, maybe a girl that were of our own complexion. And we see stuff like this. We might be like, oh, no, I'm not going for it. Not today. Uh, clearly, she likes what she sees. She likes who she's with. So it's all good and baby. Like I said, there is a small part of him that felt probably disrespected. Okay. Cause he said, I'll slap you in your mouth, dog. And normally when I say the word dog, when I say, come on dog, if I start to say that it's starting to get real. And I feel that in his system. Okay. Coming out, wanting to protect. And what does that uh, mean? That always goes, I'm a man. Give me a lightsaber. War. That's what's coming out of him. But man, let's not do that. Okay. Let's calm down. Now, I'm not against this comedian. I don't care about this comedian. I don't know this comedian. This comedian doesn't know me. I am simply trying to get across that. All of us go through this. All of us, men. All of us make mistakes. All of us get in this world. All of us. But it's okay. You just have to learn to get past these things and keep it going. Okay? Let's get into this. See what else he had to say. Once again, the cologne of the evening. I just keep pressing the wrong button. I'm sorry, guys. Don't judge me. Buy her another one, fuck boy. That's yours, white lady. Bring it on low chain, there's no fucking. I ain't had enough. You have your fucking feet on my stage. You can't just colonize the women. You got your feet on my fucking stage. If you are a mass shooter, that's the guy first. <laughs> And that's how it is. Okay. So <laughs> it's all done in jest, but here's my problem. I don't care about the comedian once again. What I do see is a lot of this happening <clears throat> when men do this kind of stuff. He said flavor of the month. He felt like maybe there was a little bit of disrespect in there. He's protecting her. But guess what's going to happen tonight? Most likely, unless these people are, are waiting for marriage. Guess what? Tonight, he's going to bust them walls down. Tonight, he's going to spread her legs, spread eagle, and you know the rest. So she probably doesn't give a F. Because what does the saying go? If you're not F me, don't worry about it. Now, in some cases, I don't agree with that statement. However, in this case, man, she ain't worried about it. She don't care that he's white. He made a joke. And he said it at the comedy club, so he's probably said that kind of stuff to her. Anyway, it's a joke. When you in when you date interracially, sometimes there are jokes. Sometimes you can have a good laugh. Not everything needs to be that serious. I felt like in this case, the comedian is actually the one who kind of killed that whole joke by him saying flavor of the month. I think the comedian could have said, ah, ha, ha, I got you, dog. Ah, ha, ha. No, but instead he went into, I slap you in your motherfucking mouth, dog. No. Men, men, sit back, relax. Breathe. These are the times that we can learn to just take a joke. 
We don't have to protect every single woman of our complexion because they're dating somebody who's not of our complexion. In this, in this case, a European man, but I'm not trying to be politically correct. This man is white. Okay? She can date a white man if she wants to. I can date a white woman. He can date a white woman. You, watching this camera, you can date a white man. You can date a white woman. And guess what? At the end of the day, when the lights go off, we all the same color, baby. Absent of light. Okay, I was y'all yeah, thought I was gonna say black, huh? No. No, because when the lights go off, that's it's the absence of light. It's called darkness. And when the lights go off, baby, we all darkness. Okay. So who cares who you date? Let it be. Okay? Let it be. I'm so sick of having and I just wanna have this. I just wanna say this one quick thing. I'm gonna get out of here. Live my life, okay? But I can't stand the interracial dating, especially when it comes to people of my complexion. People come from the Indian complexion. Okay, coming from India. Y'all feel like you own the fucking world. You don't you don't own your women anymore. It's over dead. It's done. Just like I can go date a white woman. A black woman can date a white man. Even though they only date them at a very small percent. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I'm not here to protect every single woman from a white guy. That's crazy. I'm going to let them live their life because I know plenty of good white men. Okay? Plenty of good white men. It's just like if a white guy wouldn't let his white sister date a black man. It sounds stupid. All right, that's enough getting close to the mic. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think he should have white knighted or y'all think he shouldn't have? I know it's a joke. I know he's a comedian. I know it was all done in jest. Once again, take the comedian out. Take the people out. Forget their faces. To think about the situation as a whole. And let me know what you think. Goodbye.